Um, I grew up in this neighborhood. I didn't know Kelly Hurley, but I wouldn't want anyone to have to go through what Kelly's family is going through right now. Um, I think all of us have been touched in some way by traffic crashes or traffic violence. And um, I really appreciate you coming out and ha taking this moment of silence to remember her and know why it is that we're all riding today and why we ride in general and why we need to make streets safer for people walking and biking and driving. So we place a cone here to force motorists to make a more angled turn at a slower speed. Um, that way they have better visibility for pedestrians and cyclists proceeding through the intersection. And does it seem to be working? We just From what I just saw, I'm pretty impressed. So, you know, we hope DOT can do something more permanent, more official. When Kelly Hurley died here, killed by a box truck at an intersection that was designed with the state of the art in terms of what traffic engineers can do to make it safe to bicycle in an urban environment like this. The problem is that drivers don't know and drivers don't care. You have those triangles leading into the turning bay here. They're called yield teeth. That's not taught on the New York State Department of Motor Vehicles test for people to get a license. They don't know what those mean. Ask any driver. They have no idea that those triangles mean a cyclist has priority and right of way in this turning area. It's painted green. Everything about it is constructed to slow the motorist down and ensure they yield to the cyclist. But at the end of the day, if the motorist doesn't look, doesn't care, this is what happens. This kind of tragedy, and it happens far too often.